from the guitar show, bringing stuff back at the All Guitar Network. And uh, so there's a mix of some really cool vintage and some really cool reissues and stuff like that. Unusual stuff that I like and my customers like. So we'll start with this guitar. This is a custom historic Explorer with the split headstock. So this is Karina and it's really cool. This was made in, I think it was 2000 and something or other. <laughs> I'll have to look it up again. There were 25 of these made with the split headstock. Just a really cool guitar that's near mint. Custom shop, of course, custom historic. Just extremely cool and extremely clean. So um, I think somebody's gonna really dig that and it's gonna be uh, a guy playing something that there's very few around. Um, here's another guitar that's very cool. Um, this is a Martin. This is not an old one, but again, it's just something that's highly unusual. This is a Martin D40 uh, FMG Flame Maple, Flame Mahogany. Uh, and so it's just a really cool guitar. This one is number four of 150. So a buddy of mine um, was a Martin dealer and he bought a lot of this stuff and he got very low numbers. So I just think it's very cool. It's got tortoise binding, um, you know, pearl around the sound hole. Unusual guitar, really clean. Something cool that's not super old. I'll show you something that's older that's really cool. This is an SG Special, the 63. It actually came in a soft case, but for traveling, I put it in this hard case. Um, this thing is almost like new. It's stunningly clean. 63, wide neck, a little bit of wear at the very at the headstock, but it doesn't get much cleaner than this. Um, 63 with vibrato, like a 9.5 out of 10. This is just an exceptionally clean J50, and uh, it's a 63. And just so you know, the difference between the J45 and the J50, and this goes for a few different models. J45 was the sunburst version of the same guitar. J50 was natural. The Country Western uh, was the natural finish and the Southern Jumbo was the sunburst. Um, they did that on a few guitars where just the number really signified uh, the finish of the guitar. It's pretty cool. So, uh, wide neck, extremely clean. So, there you go, original hard case. This is one of my favorite models of the Gibson Acoustic. It's uh, 30s Gibson L00, and um, nice condition. Not minty, but very, very nice, very healthy, really good neck angle. Really great sounding guitar. You know, I'll tune it for you sometime. If you pay me, I'll tune it. Um, you don't want to hear me play it, but somebody good playing this guitar can make this thing sound really good. When I used to play, the best seats were in the back of the house so they could get out quick. But I was mainly an organ player, not a guitar player. So back to the vintage uh, part of life right here. This is a really cool guitar. This is a 1955 Fender Telecaster. This is right after the Black Guard. Uh, it's got the big, nice, meaty neck, round string retainer, very nice shape, a little bit edge wear, but really a great guitar. This thing is like super lightweight. Uh, it's got the older style knobs that are a little rounder. Um, just tele player's dream right here. This thing is killer, killer, killer. Original tweed case. This thing's pretty cool. This is a custom shop telly in blue sparkle with the blue sparkle headstock. It's just a really stunning, really cool guitar. If you guys are looking for something great on stage, this would kill and uh, 
attract a lot of attention. This is just a nice base over here. This is a Fender Mustang base. I really like these bases. The guy in average white band played these. This has hang tags. Um, it's a 70, about a 75. A nice black rosewood neck. Great weight, very lightweight, very easy to manipulate. And it's got the original case, hang tags, all that kind of stuff. If you guys want a cool Mustang base, this is a great one. So this is another Martin over here. Not super old, but this is one of the very first Eric Clapton triple O 28s. And what's cool about this is they use the old Waverly style tuners on it. And um, this is number four. From what I understand, this was going to go to somebody in Clapton's entourage, but my friend who was a Martin dealer got a lot of this stuff early on. And uh, so it's number four. It doesn't even say four of what, I don't know how many they made, but very early. So pretty cool. So this is an SG Special. It's got um, a badass bridge on there, but it's got the nice wide neck. This one is like a 63 or 62, and uh, just nice player grade guitar. I mean, it's a little better than a player grade because it is original. Shows some wear, but um, just pretty cool. So again, like for newer stuff, um, this is a very cool guitar. Um, it's a ES345. It's mono, um, but in Pelham Blue. Very clean. Just really nice guitar. Um, make a great stage guitar for somebody. So, so uh, I know that we did this in part one, but this guitar is so good we had to bring it back for an encore. This is a 62. Stop tail 335 with PAFs, um, just a great guitar. And so um, there was, uh, I think it was like 62 guitars that were mine. Joel got a few things for himself. Um, so um, there's like 62 guitars. We've only gone through just a part of them, but I wanted to give you guys like a sampling of what I thought was kind of cool. So there's stuff for the collector, there's stuff for the player, there's stuff that would be great stage instruments. Um, so we have the whole variety. We have guitars from every price range here at Norm's Rare Guitars. And I thank you guys for watching us. And the All Guitar Network is the bomb. You guys need to tell your friends, tell everybody about it because I think it's gonna be the coolest thing ever. Uh, we put two and a half years of hard work, my buddy Mark, Corvette and myself and it's just starting to really blossom so thank you guys for watching the all guitar network right here